Hello and welcome to this video in a series of videos that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com. That's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com. And uh, I will be happy to let you know when I release new tutorials or programs. I can remember when I first became aware of technical analysis and technical trading when I was watching a TV program on foreign exchange as a child, and that is technical analysis of charts, for instance, rather piqued my interest that maybe one could find patterns on charts or analyze historic price movement to try and understand what might happen next. Of course, in those days, probably a lot of the analysis was being done using very laborious manual calculations and uh, charting using paper and rulers and, and so on. Of course, now we're very blessed that we have excellent tools such as TradeStation. And what the really nice thing I think about being able to program in TradeStation Easy Language is that you can think of an idea and then write a program to express that idea. And so just to give you an example, some of the things that I've done over the last uh, seven years, program 11. This was using a smooth CCI program that I'd created and looking for divergences. So, so for example, we would be looking for the uh, a price pivot to make a higher high, where as on the CCI, we'd be looking at a lower high, the, uh, the opposite, looking for uh, low pivots in price and then looking for the CCI to make a, uh, in this case, the fast CCI to make a uh, higher low. So what I did in program 11 was I programmed this to draw lines to indicate to you when these divergences were occurring and I added a lot of extra input so that uh, for example you could look for a situation where we were just using the regular CCI or we were using a fast CCI where the uh, the second price pivot had not yet occurred but we were using the price at the point where the second CCI pivot occurred and so on. It's a sort of Swiss army knife uh, CCI divergence program. And then program 12 and program 12 was a uh, strategy and what uh, the program uses to determine whether it gets into a trade were candlestick patterns and uh, we also built in some trailing stops and targets and so on. And uh, the idea that if, if, you, if you often look at a chart, you'll see that certain candlestick patterns occur before certain price movements. And what this strategy did was to allow you as a user of the program to define which candlestick patterns you wanted to include and then base trades off those candlestick patterns happening. Or program 13. And program 13 was using what I termed as pivot limits. And in other words, what uh, price happened was we had to form a pivot and then break through that pivot level. And if we did that, we then entered a limit order. And you can see we've also got trailing stops and uh, targets and so on with this program. Or program 16. And uh, program 16 was analyzing price and saying, well, are there some structural levels here in price action? For example, do, do we get a zigzag turning point at a particular level? And then that turning point happens again at a very similar level. And what this program did is analyze the price action, both in terms of the horizontal levels, but also vertical levels, representing potential times where a zigzag turning point had happened in previous days. Or for example, program 18. And what program 18 did was took some of the CCI divergence things that we looked at in program 11 and built a strategy around them and said, well, do these things actually, can we actually make a profitable, potentially profitable strategy using CC, CCI divergence and uh, building in targets and stops and so on. The really nice thing, of course, about TradeStation is that you can also optimize your strategies. But the point of all this is that by learning and understanding easy language, you can develop some of these, some of your own ideas into programs that you can potentially use. So what I'm going to be doing in the next uh, week or so is launching a basic training easy language course. The idea of the course is to take people who are really not familiar with programming and very quickly get you to a point where you can write TradeStation easy language programs. 
So what I'm doing is putting the final finishing touches to the course and then what I'm going to do in a few days is record another video and give you an idea of what the course is going to look like and the sort of things that are going to be covered in the course. So thank you.